Okay, hi everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, marhaba. I wanted to say, tell you the story about the second time I was almost killed in Tanzania, which, by the way, ah, my earring. They do say it there, Tanzania. Little known fact. Um, but this one happened on the way back from a safari. So, oh, my dog wants in. So, this safari lasted, well, it took about nine hours to get there. And, um, ah, my door's stuck. Come on in. Here he is. Uh, it took about nine hours to get there. And to get there, we had to take a ferry. And at this ferry, there was a lot of homeless people there. Um, and you were, like, in a little gated area, so you couldn't get out. And our tour guide was with us. And he told us, the homeless people here in this area are crazy, is what he said. Now, that might not be politically correct, but that's what he said. So, myself, I didn't think much of it. Um, but we were standing in a circle, and I was a little bit outside of the circle, because, you know, socially awkward. Um, when all of a sudden, I feel someone breathing behind me. And I immediately, you know, tense up, and I look out of the corner of my eye, and there is a homeless man, um, who I had seen talking to himself earlier and, um, doing some strange stuff, S about this far from my, the back of my head, and he's going like this, like, to give me money. That part's not that creepy. It was his facial expression, um, he looked like he wanted to kill me. And the tour guide, free, he, I could, before I saw anything, I saw the tour guide. And I saw his face change to one where he's talking, and then he goes like, he gets an expression of like, worry on his face. And so, he tells me, in a very calm voice, come closer, sister. So I take a step forward, and then he says, keep coming, sister. And so I walk until I'm, like, inside the circle. No one else in my group noticed this except for me and the tour guide and one other person. And so I, I let this thing go. You know, I'm not worried or anything about it. A few minutes later, it's, it's really crowded. You know, it's standing room only, pretty much. And they open the doors to get onto the ferry. And we all start, you know, walking towards the ferry in this big, big crowd. And... There's a commotion about mm, three yards away from me, and I look, and the homeless man is staring at me with, like, with death in his eyes, like he wanted to kill me, and, um, he's pushing people out of the way to come get me. I think that's probably, I was, I was honestly terrified. I've never had someone look like they wanted to kill me, and I couldn't move forward or backwards, or sideways, I could only just stay there because it was so crowded and he was pushing, he was coming at me. And um, so what I ended up doing is I grabbed on to a guy in our group, he, ended, he, was, he was taller, he was completely oblivious to the situation. Um, but I grabbed on to him and, he, and I said, get me out of here. And he was like, well, okay, and he just like pushed his way to the front and that's how I ended up getting out. He just... Nobody in the group noticed, and I'm, I don't know why he chose me to single out, maybe because I'm the shortest, um, less intimidating person, but yeah, that's the second time I've had, well, I felt like my life was threatened in Tanzania. I don't know what he would have actually done, but I'm just saying the look in his eyes and the expression on his face was one of I want to uh, rip your brains out type of expression. But on that note, Tanzania <laughs> was great. The safari was great. And um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So if you ever get a chance to go, go ahead and go. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, Leave them in the comments. Um, tell me about the craziest thing that ever happened to you on vacation. And have a good day. Wadan. Maslama. I think.